One of the big questions hanging over this evening, the weather on the red carpet. California, as you know, has just come through a record bout of rain. And this storm is now heading east, uh, east across America. Meteorologist Ginger Z is in L.A., far from the red cover, uh, red carpet, covering it all. Hey, Ginger, good morning to you. Hey there, you guys. It's great to see you and great to be here. Uh, because it is drying out, things are improving. Um, and obviously, I'm still in my rain gear, though, because there will be some lingering showers. I wanted to show you behind me. This is the Los Angeles River. This is usually dry or just a trickle, so really not much of anything. And it's just one of the visuals that gives you an idea of what some four to, yes, over 12 inches of rain looks like. Wicked waves shattering windows in this restaurant. Diners dashing for the door. Storm surges crashing high and hard in Southern California, taking over this pier. Boats pushing ashore, injuring two workers after waves sliced into another Oceanside restaurant. He went through the door to the patio that had just been washed out by that same wave. Trees falling on cars, trucks balancing on bridges, the flooding rains torturing the freshly torched foothills, sending a rescue team rafting into the rapid waters at Malibu Creek State Park to find four stranded hikers. The system seems to pass through and will give us a false sense that everything's all right, the worst has gone by. We want to caution everybody. Flooding and mud creeping everywhere. Diverted by the sandbags. Instagram and Twitter all abuzz with hashtag LA Rain. From rain pouring over gutters to damaged bridges and cars trapped in the middle of standing water in Los Angeles' Koreatown. Drive a little slower, just a little more vigilant. With the four-day soak coming to an end, the looming threat of mudslides isn't going anywhere. It's a possibility the mud and water could go up to six feet. Well, we will still will see a few lingering showers here in California. I do want to tell you that this storm is on the move, already producing some winter weather. And many, many states, I mean, really, dozens will see this sort of storm affecting them. Look at this. This is from Kansas City earlier this morning at the airport. You could hardly see anything. The snow coming down hard. And it's not just snow, but snow and ice that we're going to be talking about. A lot of these places will pick up some uh, six, seven, eight inches. I wanted to show you exactly what's going to happen. Time it out for you. A majority of this is happening today into early tomorrow. You see the pink there. That's 6 to 10 inches. In some spots, like Washington, D.C., you go west into the mountains in West Virginia, you could see locally over a foot with this storm. That's the snowy part. Then we have to talk about the ice, because I've seen some pictures this morning of roads and windshields just smothered in ice anywhere from northeastern Arkansas to western excuse me, Tennessee and Kentucky. That's where we're looking for the bullseye of ice with this storm, and that's more today. But of course, we want to touch on that snow, and we have to go to our Alex Perez, who's in Indianapolis on the cold side of this. Alex, what are you seeing right now? Hey, good morning, Ginger. Here in Indianapolis, they are bracing for anywhere from six to eight inches of snow. This storm is creating major problems as it treks across the country. Accident after accident. Overnight, that fast-moving storm coating the roads in Oklahoma City with dangerous ice. In Denver, the snow and ice blamed for this huge pileup, killing at least one person and injuring more than 20. I saw red lights. Next thing you know, I'm underneath somebody else's car. Temperatures in the Mile High City dropped 42 degrees in just one day. Authorities say at least 104 vehicles were involved in the pileup. In Montana overnight, our first glimpse at the home destroyed by an avalanche that buried three people, including an eight-year-old boy. With shovel in hand, neighbors got them out, all three now recovering. I mean, these people are our neighbors, and it could have happened to any of us. In Pennsylvania, where they are bracing for up to a foot of snow, they are now stockpiling mountains of salt, an additional 20,000 tons after the last storm had them scrambling to find more. We got our milk. In Indiana, they are preparing for yet another storm storm that could bring highways to a standstill. We have several people come out for salt and sorry to say we have to turn them away because I don't think anybody's got salt right now. And take a look at this. Not even the mighty Niagara Falls a match for Mother Nature's biting cold. 60% of the rushing waters frozen. At Chicago Soldier Field at the NHL's outdoor matchup of the Blackhawks versus the Penguins, the menacing storm made it difficult for crews to keep snow off the ice. And in Missouri, authorities are telling motorists to stay off the roadways unless absolutely necessary. It's going to be a long day and a long night for the 100 million people in the path 
of this storm.